Hello and welcome to today's English lesson. My name is Stuart. In today's lesson, we're looking at prepositional phrases that use the out of structure. Let's go to the intro. Now, in today's lesson, as I said, we're looking at prepositional phrases and in particular, ones that take this uh, structure here out of and there are many, many, many prepositional phrases that we can use with out and of. Some of these will be familiar to you because you would have seen them most likely if you've ever been to the UK, Australia, USA, Canada, etc. So some of these could be familiar. You probably heard them uh, uh, in speech and you've probably seen them written but not many people use them which is a problem except for the more common ones. Now the first one is a common one so uh, you've probably used it before or most likely you have seen it which is out of order, out of order and if something is out of order it means that it's not working so this could be uh, like for example a lift or an elevator uh, perhaps a vending machine, uh, some other type of machine that is not working at that particular moment, you could put a sign uh, that says out of order. Okay, out of order. But out of order also has another meaning, and this is the one here. So the first meaning, you can't take the lift, it's out of order, meaning that it's not working. And the second uh, definition, John's comments were completely out of order. Now this is a common expression in the UK especially to mean that something is not appropriate, okay? Or perhaps uh, another person was offended by something that somebody did or said. So John's comments were completely out of order, okay? Out of order, his comments were out of order. Uh, therefore, I'm, I feel offended by his comments. They were out of order. So out of order to mean that something's not working and also in the sense of behavior or a comment, for example, it can also mean not appropriate, okay? Out of order. Now the next one is out of work and if you're out of work, you're not working, you're unemployed, okay? You're out of work. Sally's short of cash given that she's out of work at the moment. She has no money, she's out of cash because she's out of work, okay? Short of cash, I said out of cash. That's another example of a prepositional phrase. Out of cash or short of cash, given she's out of work. She's unemployed, she's not working, she lost her job, she's out of work. The next one is out of breath, and if you're out of breath, it means that you're having trouble uh, breathing because perhaps you've done some type of uh, physical exercise uh, where you have exerted yourself perhaps more than you should have, and you uh, are out of breath. I had to take the stairs, so I'm completely out of breath. Out of breath. <sighs> out of breath, okay? Because I had to take the stairs, because the lift was broken. The lift was broken, so I had to take the stairs. So now, <sighs> I'm out of breath. The next one is out of luck, and if you're out of luck, you, you are unlucky. We sold the last iPhone yesterday, sir, so you're out of luck. Sorry, out of luck. You're out of luck. You are unlucky because you can't buy the iPhone today because we sold the last one yesterday, so you're out of luck. The next one is out of print, and if uh, a book or a magazine or something like that is out of print, it means that there are no available copies. Example, the book you ordered is out of print, so you'll have to wait. Out of print, there's no copies available in the shop or in the bookstore or wherever they are selling that book. The book is out of print. It could be a temporary. It could be a temporary thing, or it could be a permanent thing. So, if a book is permanently out of print, it means that they're no longer printing that book, or it could just be temporary, uh, and they're in between um, um, editions. For example, the next one is out of earshot, and if you are out of earshot, it means that you can't hear. 
okay? So normally we use this in the context if you're talking about somebody and you don't want them to hear what you are saying, you wait until they are out of earshot. So wait until he's out of earshot before you tell me the gossip, the gossip, you know, that the, those uh, uh, details about somebody's life or about something that you don't want them to hear you talking about. So wait for that per wait until that person is out of earshot, okay? Far enough away so that they can't hear what you are saying. And the last one is out of practice. And out of practice means that you are uh, not going to perform to the best of your ability at a sport, uh, for example, uh, something like that, because you have not played it for a long time. So you could be a little bit rusty out of practice. I haven't played golf for ages, so I might be out of practice. Out of practice, meaning that you might not play as good or as well as you should uh, if you had been playing more constantly, okay? So if you play golf every day, every week, you become quite good, but if you don't play for a while, you become out of practice. So out of order, out of work, out of breath, out of luck, out of print, out of earshot, and out of practice. Now, thank you very much for watching the lesson. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Remember to share the video on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, share it up on social media. I'll see you in the next lesson. Have a good day, bye. This old man, he played too. He played knick-knack on my shoe with a knick-knack. Paddywhack, give a dog a bone. This old